we want to evaluate the given absolute value expressions. We first have the absolute value of h when h is equal to negative 51. The first step is to perform substitution by substituting negative 51 for h, which gives us the absolute value of negative 51. The absolute value of a number is a number's distance from zero, and distance is always positive. Looking at the number line below, negative 51 is to the left of zero, and negative 51 is 51 units from zero, and therefore the absolute value of negative 51 is 51. Again, absolute value is always positive. Next, we have the absolute value of negative d when d is equal to negative 18. So again, the first step is to substitute negative 18 for d, which gives us the absolute value of negative, and then d is negative 18. Simplifying inside the absolute value, we can read this as the opposite of negative 18, or negative negative 18, which simplifies to positive 18, giving us the absolute value of positive 18, which is equal to the distance positive 18 is from zero. So going back to the number line, we know 18 is to the right of zero, let's say approximately here. Positive 18 is 18 units from zero, which is why the absolute value of 18 is 18. Next we have the opposite of the absolute value of negative c when c is equal to negative 24. We begin by substituting negative 24 for c, which gives us the opposite of the absolute value of negative and then negative 24. Simplifying inside the absolute value, we can read this as the opposite of negative 24 or negative negative 24, which simplifies the positive 24 inside the absolute value, but we still have a negative outside the absolute value. So we have negative or the opposite of the absolute value of positive 24. And since 24 is 24 units from zero, the absolute value of 24 is 24, but our expression is the opposite of the absolute value of positive 24, and therefore this is equal to negative 24. Absolute value is always positive, but because we have a negative outside the absolute value, the result is negative. And for the last expression, we have the absolute value of x minus the absolute value of y when x equals negative two and y equals positive four. Performing the substitution gives us the absolute value of negative two minus the absolute value of positive four. And since negative two is two units from zero and positive four is four units from zero, the expression simplifies to positive two minus positive four, which is equal to negative two. If it's helpful, we can think of two minus four as two plus negative four, resulting in negative two. I hope you found this helpful.